Celebration here tonight with Anti Bookworm. 50 episodes. Woo, woo, woo. Thanks for coming out, being here for so many different shows. And tonight is number 50. Woo, woo. Let's have a little party. I think we should all start off with a nice little song. Happy 50th episode to us. Happy 50th episode to us. Happy 50th episode to Anti Bookworm and all the friends. Happy 50th episode to us. Couldn't be here without you guys. I would have given up on it long ago, but here we are. 50 times we've been here making videos, reading stories having poems and songs and jokes and just having fun. So thanks again for coming out 50 times. Can you count to 50 in some different ways? Yeah, let's do it by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Can you do fives? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Woo thanks guys. So thanks for being here. It looks like we've got, oh, probably a Lila and Lily are there and Gracie is there and Ollie is there and Brad and Mrs. Darian, thank you. And there's Kennedy and her mom and Mason. I see you all checked in already. Wow. Yeah, happy 50th, right? That's pretty exciting. So I thought we'd start off with a counting kind of uh, song. There were 10 in the bed. Yikes. And it looks like we're featuring some very different animals in this story. Are they even real? I don't know. They don't look like Canadian animals to me. Let's see what we think. It's illustrated by Karen Young. It was published by Scholastic. Ooh, do you have a clue where they might be from? I see a kangaroo and a duck-billed platypus. I have a clue. There were ten in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. <sniffs> there were nine in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. <laughs> there were eight in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were seven in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were six in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were five in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <gasps> there were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. <gasps> There were three in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Wow! Uh oh, how many now? There were two in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Woo, woo! I'm having a party now. 
there was one in the bed and the little one said good night <sighs> Oh, they don't look very happy. Now, let's see. There were actually 10 in the bed, and this book was starring the echidna, which is an Australian uh, animal that lives in all sorts of different places in the cold, snowy mountains and the rainforests. It's also called a spiny anteater. It uses a long, sticky tongue to lick out ants and termites from their nests. Blah, blah, blah. We have the wombat, which lives in a burrow. And the wombat uh, lives below ground in burrows that connect and have different rooms. And they're herbivores, which means they only eat pl plants. They don't eat meat. We had a kangaroo. And you know, when they're born, they're only the size of a bean. And they crawl into their mother's pouch. And depending on what kind of kangaroo they are, they stay there for 90 days or 270 days. Only tree kangaroos can move their hind legs separately when they're walking on the tree branches. We had a koala, which were found in the Australian states of Victoria, New South Wales, and Queensland, and South Australia. They eat eucalyptus. The strange looking platypus was in this book. So many cool books, animals, excuse me, in this book. There's our emu, a cockatoo, a numbat, a kookaburra, and a frill necked lizard. And where do all these animals come from? The incredible continent and country of Australia. Yes, so check that out on your world map next time you have it out. Find out where Australia is and learn a little bit more about the animals there. So different from so many of the animals we have here in Canada. Yay, 50 episodes. I'm still really excited about that. Yeah, so, you know, it's been 50 shows and we have we have still got to stay uh, in our homes most of the time and stay only with our family and not be visiting with other friends and other family members. And we have a lot of rules we have to follow right now. And this book I have tonight for you is dedicated for all of us during our quarantine and um, lockdown of 2020 during COVID-19. This book is called Penguin Problems by Jory John and illustrated by Lane Smith. Can you find the one penguin that's a little different in the cover? That's our penguin that's telling the story. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, so this penguin, he's got a lot of problems, but wait till you meet his friend at the end. And I have a little friend here. Oh, I'm Wally. Yeah, there's Wally the walrus. Good to see you, Wally. Love having Wally out to see us. He doesn't get out too often. No, I'm pretty quiet. Stay, staying away from everyone. All right, Wally, you have a seat. There we go. Penguin Problems. Who do you think published this one? Random House. Thank you, Random House. Penguin problems. Uh, can you see him there? It's way too early. My beak is cold. Can you relate? It's been so cold. You probably haven't even been out on your bicycle this very much, have you? It's so cold. Yeah. What's with all the squawking, you guys? Are you squawking at your house? Oh, it snowed more last night. And I don't even like the snow. It's too bright out here. 
wow, this is one grumpy penguin. Ready? What's he doing next? Our penguin is hungry. I'm hungry. I like a fish. Where are all the fish? Hey, fish, get out here. The ocean smells too salty today. I'm not buoyant enough. I sink like a dumb rock. It's way too dark down here. I said Oh, great, an orca. Oh, great, a leopard seal. Oh, great, a shark. What is it with this place? I don't like being hunted. Chomp, 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 chomp. I'm still hungry, but my flippers ache. Oof, he's having a bad day. Do you ever have days feel like that? Even maybe for a moment, you're like, oh, the whole world is terrible. I waddle too much. I look silly when I waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. See, are you waddling? Stick your feet out. Go back and forth. Waddle, 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 waddle. I wish I could fly, but I can't. See? Let's get our little penguin flippers out. You ready? Get your little penguin flippers out. <laughs> there is no flying happening for this bird. What a grumpy day. <laughs> Hang in there, though. There's something happening. Oh, everybody looks the same as me. I look the same as everybody else. Mom? I literally have no idea who you are. Dad? I literally have no idea what you're talking about. My name is Mortimer. I have so many problems and nobody even cares. Who's this? Excuse me, sir. What? <laughs> While he's going to help us out for this next page. Good afternoon. I sense that today you have been difficult. No, no, no. I sense that today has been difficult. But lo, look around you, penguin. Have you noticed the way the mountains are reflecting in the ocean like a painting? Have you gazed upon the blue of the cloudless winter sky, my friend? Have you felt the sun as it gently warms your back? <gasps> Have you simply stood with your penguin brothers and sisters and elders who adore you? Yes, some things are challenging out here. Yes, we have difficult moments. From the walruses to the polar bears, from the whales, to the penguins. But hear me now, my new friend. I wouldn't trade my life for any other, and I am quite sure you wouldn't either. I'm certain that when you think about it, you'll realize you are exactly where you need to be. Please think about what I've said, Penguin. Goodbye for now. Wally. 
Who the heck was that guy? Why do strangers always talk to me? Walrus don't understand penguin problems. <sighs> okay, okay. Maybe the walrus had a point. After all, I do love the mountains. And the ocean. And the sky. And I have friends and family. This is my only home. And this is my only life. Maybe things will work out. After all. There we go, friends. <sighs> My beak is cold, though. It gets dark too early. <laughs> but there's still some hope out there, isn't there? You can always be hopeful that there are fun, new, creative things to do, even when we're in our new situations at home instead of doing our normal routines. So I know I have really loved doing anti-bookworm with you so far and 50 episodes in, I would love to keep going and hope that you keep coming back. So that was our big 50th episode reading. I just see a few other friends have checked in. Hi, Carter and Lucas. Great to see you guys here tonight on Facebook Live. And oh, I had a thank you from Cody and Keenan. You're welcome, guys. And Jackie, thank you. And Tanya, ah, oh, thanks, Mrs. Wade. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got a fun fact. Echidnas and platypuses are the only animals that lay eggs. Good job, Mr. P. And there's Lulu. Ah, oh, thanks, Mrs. P. I see you. You love that story, too. And there's Mrs. C and Mrs. Harris. Great to see everybody. Thanks for coming out. And I'll see you again another time. Maybe tomorrow. I'll be here. I have a book to dedicate to one of our friends. And I'll give you a clue. There you go. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Thanks for coming out and celebrating the 50th episode with me, whether you're here on Facebook Live or watching it later on YouTube. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Brush your teeth. Bye. Be kind.